What up? My name is Brad, back with another Legends video. I know, it's crazy. Believe it or not, I do actually have other things planned, but Legends is popping off right now, so we're going to keep talking about it. Let's jump in, let's talk about the raid a little bit, because a lot of people are saying it's phenomenal, um, and I, I actually do agree. The last couple raids have been pretty good. Uh, if you guys remember the Dark Ages, <laughs> that's what we're going to call them, the Medieval Ages of Legends, where the raid had like a limited amount of time. So if you just started recently playing, the raid used to be, it had a limited amount of time to get any rewards. And literally the first like two or three raids, I don't remember exactly, they launch it like late at night for people in the United States, some other places around the world, whatever else. But like, for example, my reset is at 11 p.m. Some people in the Eastern time, so like New York, stuff like that, would be like 2, p 2 a.m. And so people go to sleep because they're, they're adults, they have a job, like they... They got kids. They're not sitting up playing Legends at 4 o'clock in the morning, right? And you would literally wake up, and the raid was done. And it's like, bro. So then when they changed the format, that was already a big W. We'll hop in. Let's take a look at this exchange shop, because I've only looked at it. I got just enough CC to do the 500 multi. I got doo-doo, all right? Don't worry about it. So, Taylor, I mean, it's always been fantastic with the Extreme and the sparking multi-Z power. That's great. They've been killing it with multi-Z power as of late. Very much so. Thousand Chrono Crystals, which I would think probably end of the year for New Year's, we're gonna have like five weeks. I would think of back-to-back -back raids, so that's like five thousand free CC at the end of the year. There's only one thousand, but it's hey, it gives people a shot at those units. Slot removers, fantastic, always a good thing, never a bad thing to have. Zenkai Souls, I don't think they've decreased the price. I think they're always two, but I could be wrong. I don't really, I don't really pay too much attention. I grind the entire shop out every time, so it's whatever. Uh, Master Pack 1, no, <laughs> no but all these different things, super duper good on the exchange shop, always been great. Um, actually, I want to look at who the boost characters are, because I'm not even 100% sure. By the way, can we talk about Goku and Vegeta having 1,500% ability bonus? That's ridiculous, but, because they're so Zenkai boosted, like, it's ridiculous. Um, let's take a look at the details, where, do, how do I see the battle, oh, well, that's not. Hmm. Okay. That's a really good way to do it. It looks bad at first. All right, so here, I'll break down the how this essentially works. So, Saga Swim moves get 250%. You get 150% for being that Goku and Vegeta, which I assume they would also get the 250% then. So, you use them, it's absolutely broken. But you don't use them, which, you know, a lot of people probably don't have. I think Trunks should. It probably should be... Trunks having that as well, because that feels a little like, eh, well, way to just take a dump on Trunks' head, but that's fine. Whatever. But then they get that additional. That's a really good way to do that. Because the way we'd always look at it is we don't want boost characters. But if you just give a higher boost to all the other characters, you're good. So you could ideally... That's a lot of options. Goddamn, Legends, I'm actually impressed. So take a look down here. We'll go to Saga from the Movies, right? So you could ideal, you could hop in with Super Gogeta. You could hop in with God Vegeta. You could hop in with Broly, the Green Broly. You could hop in with the LF Zenkai's Revival Gohan. Hell, I mean, if you just started your account, and you happen to get Broly Fury. You could hop in with Broly Fury. Huh? That is, I like that. You could hop in with. I might use Gokua just because I like Gokua. I'm actually a big fan. Legends are killing it. Yeah, so your best options, we'll go through that real fast, just so you guys know. I'm assuming 90% of you probably know, but we'll go through and we'll talk about it. So yeah, Super Gogeta, definitely. Janemba, probably a really good option. God Vegeta, yeah. You could even use Purple Broly. I'm not the biggest fan of Purple Broly, but he's fine. He's good to go. 250%, you're good to go. Green Broly, no problem. Uh, I'll skim past a lot of these guys. Gogeta Blue, if you got six stars and up, great. Blue Broly, you got six stars and up, great. Revival Gohan, pretty much any stars. That Green Trunks, six stars and up. Bojack, six stars and up. Obviously, Goku and Vegeta, the minimum you can have is four stars. I did not know Young Nappa is Saga's from the movies. <laughs> it makes sense, I just didn't know that. Because <laughs> he was in a movie, I just didn't even think about that. Okay, hey, and, and Goku, obviously. Uh, any of the Beto Force... I know, I know, Bojack, Forrest, whatever you want to call him, Hair Clan. Uh, any of them are probably viable, but I would say Goku would probably be the only one you really want to run. 
That's so good. I'm actually massively proud of Legends. Let's hop in. We'll clear it real quick just to see how fast we can do it. Hopefully we don't get... Don't make me disband while I'm recording. Don't you do it, bro. Dude, my name on here makes so much sense now. So I was I was Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta came out. I named myself Monkey Monkey, right? I like monkeys. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is a I'm actually using two monkeys now. All right, all right, Camo, you can just click auto select, bro. Like, it's fine, doesn't matter. But it'll literally give you this Goku and Vegeta. Like, you can just literally click auto select. Let's see how fast we can clear this with another one. I'm glad they got rid of the Dragon Ball boost. He actually didn't need that. That wasn't very fun, if you will. Okay, how much should we do? Should we just take his bar away. Okay, so he's already got no shield, basically. One more attack. Boom. Alright, bro. So now I am a Vegeta stan. So I pretty much only Rising Rush, and I pretty much only try to win with Vegeta. We'll, kick, we'll pick our Blast card. What has this been? 20 seconds? I was like, watch him match us, bro. Just to... I, we, I, we actually probably have a chance at winning still, even if he did match us. So he's been at zero for a hot minute. What's this going to do, like 75 million? 84 million. Thank God it's easy to beat. I, hey, we can try it real quick with another unit that I recommended just to see how it goes. Just so you guys are like, all right, Brad. And this will also show you guys... What you can do. So I would probably, I'd probably use Super Gogeta as the next. We will do because Bojack is great and all, but he's got to transform to actually be like a monster. I don't want to pick a unit like, yeah, we will do Super Gogeta. That's fine. By the way, here's a pro tip. Here's you can literally go right here, and yes, if you click that like that, that's gonna just redo. Well, that's not who we want. It gave me Goku and Vegeta last time, so I put Super Gogeta there. Auto select, take off the auto select character. Boom. Now, it's not super duper ideal, I'm going to be honest with you. You want to do your own equips and stuff like that. But it does hit all the characters borderline perfect. It'll give you all the Zenkai buffs, all the highest percents. Super, super easy way to do it. I Look, you would think. You would think after... Co perfect! The hell? You would think after co-op being out for like two and a half years, people would understand. Hey, look. I'm not here to judge. It is what it is. We're just here to teach you guys how it works, all right? That's what we're doing. <laughs> That's it. I want him to... Come on, attack me. Man. All right, how fast do we take this down, though, realistically? Look at this. Oh, well, that's... I mean, I'll take it. I don't have to get a dual impact, but... Okay, so he's already lost his bar. Just took three from that. All right, fellow Super Gogeta, don't let me down, bro. Okay. Do you... Uh, are you going to... Are you, dude, just attack, bro. Like, what are you doing, man? Come on, use it with me. Use it with me. Come on. Dude. All right, well, I got a dingus who just doesn't know to, like, yeah, I use your attacks, bro. Like, I get he had to pop his green card, I understand, but. All right, how much is he going to do? Hope, ideally, we hit at least 20 mil. Oh, all right, well, your boys played this game a little too much, so. Okay, so then if we match again, we should win. All right. Come on, baby. Hey, you love to see it. All right, I may have gotten paired with a dingus, but it works. 20 mil. Not bad. Not Goku and Vegeta, I understand. But like I said, I got a dingus. So if we... I So hypothetically, right, we would hit 40 million if we bolted at the same time. Hypothetically. I don't think we actually would. be like 30 million, probably it evens out. I'm not really sure how it's calculated. But that is totally viable. That is totally viable. And there's plenty of units that are just as strong as Super Gogeta. Okay, they're not as good in PvP, but they have the physical stats to be able to do it. Again, God Vegeta, Green Broly, Purple Broly, Purple Janimba, uh, Gogeta Blue if you got high stars, Broly you got high stars. This is totally viable. I'm a big fan. I think Legends hit it out of the park by doing that 250% for movies and then 150 for the newest unit. I do think Trunks should have also had 150, and then they could just do, you know, the little additional. If you just use Trunks, you get the same percentage. Uh, they could do Trunks even at 350. 
No, that, that feels a little broken. It doesn't feel broken at all. Because if you have Goku and Vegeta, great. You're getting the 350. But if you got Trunks, great. You get the 350. If you don't have either one of them, then you get the 250. I don't know. I'm a fan. It's great. Let me know what you guys think. How do you guys think of the raid? Is it good? Is it bad? Do you care? I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much.